The Mary Livingston Ripley Garden is unique among the Smithsonian Gardens for its intimacy. It is located east of the historic Arts and Industries Building, as highlighted on this map. For thousands of visitors to the National Mall each year, the Mary Livingston Ripley Garden is a quiet oasis for retreat from the activities on the mall. Its unusual curvilinear design, which is the work of a noted Washington, D.C. architect, Hugh Newell Jacobson, along with a profusion of flowers in raised beds and formality. The Mary Livingston Ripley Garden was the inspiration of Mrs. S. Dillon Ripley. She was a lifelong plant collector and scholar, an active gardener and wife of the Smithsonian Institute's eighth secretary. Miss Ripley conceived of the idea of a fragrant garden on the eastern border of the Arts and Industry Building, a location that was designated to become a parking lot. In 1978, Miss Ripley persuaded the Women's Committee of the Smithsonian Association, which she had founded in 1966, to support the garden. In 1998, the Women's Committee recognized their founder and friend by naming the garden after her. The garden comprises more than 200 varieties of plants in hanging baskets, borders, and raised serpentine beds flanked by curvilinear walkways. Plantings are augmented seasonally with annuals and exotics. There are two entrances to the Mary Livingston Ripley Garden. The most frequently used entrance is east of the Arts and Industry Building and adjacent to the National Mall. The curvilinear flower beds line the main walkway leading to the century-old large Acontis Fountain. The Polychromatic Arts and Industry Building provides a colorful backdrop to a rainbow of colors of flowers planted in the rounded flower beds abutted to the building.
The entrance from Independence Avenue is less obvious to passerby. It carries, a cur carries the curvilinear theme of the garden, exposing the visitors to a large variety of plants and garden displays. Many of the plants are labeled throughout the garden, and this information is augmented by interesting displays. This display is comprised of the woody trimmings from the garden, which highlights the diversity of branches and stem structures to be found around the garden. <laughs> 